Hello, in this video we're going to look at nominal and real wages and do some calculations with some examples. The nominal wage is the number of dollars a worker is paid. The real wage is the purchasing power of the dollars a worker is paid. Or we could think of the real wage as the dollar wage or nominal wage adjusted for inflation. The real wage is given as the nominal wage divided by the price level. This equation assumes that the base year's price level is 1 and not 100. So example 1. The nominal wage is $20 and the price level is 1. What is the real wage? Just 20, the nominal wage divided by the price level, in this case gives us $20. Example two, suppose inflation increases by 5% and the nominal wage is unchanged at $20. What happens to the real wage? So the nominal wage divided by the price level, which is now 5% higher, means that the price level is now 1.05. Going from 1 to 1.05 is a 5% increase. And that means our real wage is lower and our real wage equals $19.05. Example three, the nominal wage is $30. Calculate the real wage at a price level of 1.03 and 1.1. So 30 divided by 1.03 gives us a real wage of $29.13. At a higher price level, in this case 1.1, that nominal wage of $30 divided by 1.1 gives us now a real wage of $27.27. .27. Moving on, example four, what happens to the real wage if the price level doubles? So the new real wage will be the nominal wage divided by two times the price level, which we could just rewrite like this, one half the nominal wage divided by the price level. And notice that the nominal wage divided by the price level is the real wage. So our new real wage, real wage star, is just one half our old real wage. So the real wage will be cut in half from a doubling of the price level. And this doubling of the price level implies a 100% increase in the price level. So this doubling of the price level means that the real wage, the purchasing power of the real wage, will be cut in half. All right, and in our final example, example five, we're going to calculate the real wage from some real-world data. So we have uh, dates here from January 2017 through January 2020. We have average hourly earnings and the consumer price index. This data are from Fred, so you could find this online. The average hourly wage of production and non-supervisory employees. Here's the data label that you could find at Fred if you want to find this ex uh, this exact data. And here are the consumer price index for all urban consumers. Here is the data name of the data series at Fred. And just to note here, the base year, 1982 through 1984, is normalized to equal 100. So the real wage in 2017 is the nominal wage divided by the price level. But because the CPI here, uh, the base level is not 1, it's 100, I'm going to first divide all of these values by 100. So this 242.839 divided by 100 gives us this following price level of 2.42. So after doing that, we have a real wage of $8.98. The real wage in 2018, taking the nominal wage, dividing it by the price level, but first we have to adjust the price level by dividing this CPI by 100. So doing that, we get a real wage of $9.02. And then you can see the remaining calculations for 2019 and 2020. So over this period of time, adjusting for inflation, the real wage increased. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.